The movie might feature a rampaging bear on drugs, but the story of the real cocaine bear might be even crazier. Here's what happened to the bear once called Pablo Escobar. In November of 2022, a new poster for a cocaine bear dropped on Twitter, giving viewers their first look at its titular character. Posting perhaps the most self-explanatory movie title since Snakes on a Plane, the Elizabeth Banks-directed thriller tells the story of a bear that goes on a rampage after ingesting a large supply of cocaine from a drug runner's crashed plane. Over the course of its runtime, the film follows several people converging on a nearby town as they attempt to escape or subdue the coked-up beast. The bear. It did cocaine. While Cocaine Bear features a cast that includes Kerry Russell, Margot Martindale, and the late Ray Liotta in his final role, it's safe to say that this is a movie that nevertheless hopes to draw viewers in on the sheer absurdity of its premise first and foremost. It's perhaps all the more surprising, then, that Cocaine Bear really is based on true events, as detailed on its first poster. In fact, not only is the real-life story still in the cultural zeitgeist decades after it happened, but the actual bear is still out in the world to this day, in a sense. The story behind the bear that inspired the rampaging movie slasher isn't as sensational as some might think. Rather, the cocaine bear's brief history is more sad than thrilling. According to the Louisville Courier Journal, the true story began in 1985 when a narcotics officer turned drug smuggler Andrew Thornton fell from a plane he was flying over Knoxville, Tennessee. Among the items in Thornton's possession was around 75 pounds of cocaine, some of which was ingested by a 175-pound black bear that happened upon the plane's wreckage. The bear sadly died, as would happen to any creature that manages to eat several pounds of cocaine, regardless of ferocity. A medical examiner examiner found that the poor thing showed signs of a range of health complications, from cerebral hemorrhaging to heart failure to respiratory failure. After its cause of death was determined, the late bear's body was taxidermied and bounced around between various owners, including country legend Waylon Jennings. Today, Cocaine Bear's home is among various oddities at the Kentucky for Kentucky Fun Mall in Lexington. According to owners, he still attracts a large number of visitors interested in his sensational, albeit somewhat tragic, story. We have the Cocaine Bear on display at the Kentucky for Kentucky Fun Mall. The Kentucky for Kentucky Fun Mall, where the taxidermied cocaine bear currently resides, isn't a mall in the traditional sense. Rather, it's more of a hybrid gift shop and tourist attraction selling Kentucky-themed goods and, as outlined in a mission statement on the Kentucky for Kentucky website, promoting its home state's past and present history. The store also sells a wide range of cocaine bear merchandise, to the extent that its webpage dedicates an entire tab to its cocaine bear merch page. In fact, Ann Livingood, who helps run the Kentucky for Kentucky Fun Mall, told Inside Edition that she believes their acquisition of the real bear was largely responsible for his present-day notoriety. Previously, she explained the bear bounced between owners, whereas Kentucky for Kentucky made him the focus of an exhibit dedicated to circulating his story in as much detail and among as wide of an audience as possible. So, while his fictional counterpart is terrorizing innocent humans on the silver screen, those interested in the bear's history can join the many tourists who make it a point to see Cocaine Bear in the flesh at his present-day Kentucky home.